All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to Mass Effect Legendary Edition, MA3. <laughs> We're finally in the third part of the trilogy, playing our Infiltrator, and welcome to episode 50. So, <clears throat> if you didn't catch it, uh, <laughs> trainer up on the CIC told me I need had a chat with uh, Engineer Adam, so we're about to go say hello, and from there, we'll start doing the Priority Citadel 2. We just finished a chunk on the last stream. My phone keeps distracting me. Uh, anything? Nope. All right, let's see. Bring that down, see the chat. Oh, you can't even tell behind me. But, like I was talking the other day, my gaming chair came in today and I'm relaxing in it right now. And oh, it feels good to have that back support. <laughs> uh, one of those quick nabs on. Amazing work of engineering. Elastic titanium silicon polymers, ultra light harmonic phased power cells. Mm -hmm. And if she ever accidentally walks into a wall, there's just so much padding. Ugh, I knew it. Wish I were a wall. You pretty much are, Kenneth. Engineer Daniels and Engineer Donnie, welcome back to the Normandy. You should go see Adams, Commander. You should go see Adams, Commander. Adams! Commander, remember the problem I mentioned? About a core overload possibly venting into the engineering compartment? Daniels, Donnelly, Edie, and I have been brainstorming and comparing notes. You see, the venting occurs when IES sinks are in a back cycle. At the same moment, the main core is at peak draw, such as from sustained kinetic. What Kenneth means to say is that we're pretty sure we can make the system safer. We just need a GX-12 thermal pipe. Unfortunately, we're cut off from Alliance supply chains. Could you keep an eye out for one the next time you're on the Citadel, Commander? I've got the specs right here. Are these modifications really necessary? It's a safety issue, not exactly critical. Under extreme conditions, like heavy bombardment to the kinetic barriers while traveling at peak flight speeds, plasma can vent into this compartment. It would vaporize anyone standing in this room. That sounds more serious than just a safety issue. Well, under those conditions, odds are you're about to lose the entire ship anyway. But we want every advantage we can get, right? All right, I'll buy it. I'll pick it up. I'll look for one the next time we go to the Citadel. Thanks, Commander. It's great to be back. Feels good to be in an Alliance uniform again. Welcome aboard, Chief. Well, I'm glad they're back. I heard that. Do I need to talk to anybody else? Oh, let's see what the reporter lady has to say. Have you seen the newest crew member? You mean the biggest story in 50,000 years that I can in no way talk about? Say, so yeah, I've seen him. Just wondering. Commander, got a minute? What do you want to know? You've just implemented a cure for the genophage. Millions of Krogan will start fighting the Reapers. What do you say to people who think humanity is starting another Rachni war and Krogan rebellion? It's easy to remember the worst of Krogan history, but you also need to remember the best. Oh, Me? yeah. The Krogan were heroes once, and they want to be heroes again. We're giving them that chance. Are you aware that Clan Erdnot is already petitioning the Council for an embassy and rights to a colony world? They deserve that, or ten, at least. The Krogan are coming to the aid of a Council homeworld. That's more than a lot of species can say. I helped them get the genophage cure. Anything more is between the Council and the Krogan. There it is, straight from Commander Shepard. Until tomorrow, this is Diana Allers. Good night and stay strong. Okay, I'll cut that together with the rest of the segment and send it to command for approval. Commander. 
Grogan clans. Alright, let's hit the CIC. Let's see what crazy shenanigans is gonna happen with us at the Citadel. Uh, I don't wanna leave to Chaka. So fun. <laughs> oh, did we? I don't think we got to talk to Joker. Like how he mentions that we need a big ass gun that shoots thirst from malls. And when I came in here, he was talking to Garrus. Uh, still there. Commander. I wonder where all the Krogan will live now. I've never seen what you'd call a house on Tachanka. Man, those little witty banters in between missions. I, I say that's like one of the best little touches they have done in the game. Alright. We'll kick Sibra's ass. It's over here. Cerberus Fighter Base. Where's my list of notes? Was I supposed to hit that before the Citadel or after? <coughs> Priority Citadel. There's the Volus Ambassador. Batarian Codes. Mm. The Sana Distress Signal. Ex Cerberus Scientist. Eden, Ashley, and Edie. And seven service fighter base. No, that's on the list. We're getting there. We're getting there. And you guys dropping uh, stuff in the chat, and especially you guys on the YouTube channel dropping like you should do this, do this, do this set of crewmates. You guys are awesome and amazing for that. Trying to do a little bit of everything that everybody wants, but definitely gotta do multiple gameplays. I lay six for every. Uh, type i've got the infiltrator we're doing i was thinking of doing soldier next then there's ad at vanguard sentinel all the fun subclasses and of course i was thinking of jumping back into cyberpunk as well i may have to do a whole new game for my necro not necro um netrunner Is that game breaking glitch with uh, the one that you gotta talk to the duty save during the parade? Or it was supposed to launch the parade mission, but that one, I don't know, it broke there. I've been trying to figure out how to get it unbroke, but no success until they drop like some DLC content or a patch that fixes it. I gotta look more into that, but for now. It's going to be the Solarian Counselor. Uh, Alliance Docks, I think. Dock 42 is to go save Omega. Dr. Bryson's Lab, that's another DLC. Where do I need to go? Where do I need to go to buy that thermal pipe? Alliance Control, this is SSV Normandy. Are we clear to descend? Servers is attacking. Alliance Control, this is Normandy. We're headed to Bay 14, Zakara Ward. Are we clear to descend? What the hell's going on down there? Even if there were a station malfunction, they'd have backups online. I got a bad feeling here. Checking emergency channels. Hey, yeah, this is Joker. Uh-huh. Yeah, no kidding. Commander, there's a communication from Thane. He says it's important. I think you'll want to hear this. Patch it through. Put him through. Shepard, the Citadel is under attack. Cerberus troops are everywhere and they're in control of the docks. Are you safe? No. I had to evade their commandos at the hospital. I'm in a Presidio storefront. Did Ashley make it out? We got separated. She said she had to protect the council. 
I'm going to CSEC headquarters. Why CSEC headquarters? It's been compromised, and CSEC's response depends on it. As long as Cerberus is holding the headquarters, they have the station. All right, Joker. Get us away from the docks and close to CSEC HQ. We'll deploy in the shuttle. Aye, aye, Commander. Let's go! All right. Let's see. Let's check the comments. Who won? Let's see. Most comments was take Javik and Garrus. Don't forget, after the mission is over, be sure to warn Miranda about Kaylang. Definitely. All right. So, good old. Take the Javik. Take the Garrus. Let's go. I swapped out my weapons for the <laughs> Cerberus theme. Alright, weapons are good. Points. Let's see, Garrison can probably do... Headshots. Let's see, let's see if we can get some more. We got eight. Let's see, what did I do for Disruptor? Did I go for headshot or for the capacity? Headshot. So increase health and armor damage by 10% or increase ammo cover penetration by 60 and to increase the efficiency of armor targets by 25. Damn. It'd be a hard one to pick. Battle of the Prosimian. <laughs> oh, there's an Atlas. Incoming. <laughs> Gotta move this. I seriously need dual monitors now. Now that I really understand my sister talking about dual monitor setups. Where's Joker in the Atlas suit? Come on, drop in in this. Okay, people, coming in hot. Get to cover. On it. No more bad guy for you, no more. Get an attack by an atlas in this. I hear you, Bailey. Damn. Shepard, I saw those Cerberus troops on you. I thought you were done for. Bailey, what are you doing here? 
getting my ass shot off trying to retake headquarters. Cerberus took it in the first push. We gotta kick them out of there. Everyone in C-Sec's flying blind without the network. How bad's the situation? Do you know if the counselors are alive? They split up. I'll know more if I can access the terminal inside. Can you get us in? I'll get the door. If no one interrupts me with a bullet this time. Check your corners. Here we go, CSET network access, courtesy of Cerberus. How's that gonna help? Cerberus has control of the main channels, but I can set up a new one. Without it, our people have no plan and no chance. Hello. What have you got? A warning from Counselor Valern. He's supposed to be here meeting with the Executor. Be on guard. The likelihood of betrayal from within is high. Not a lot else. But if he's inside... Why would the Counselor be meeting with the Executor? Usually it means someone big's about to be prosecuted. I guess that someone had Cerberus friends. The Counselor mentioned Udina. But that's insane. Does he even have this kind of pull? Oh yeah, he does now. have the answer to that. The Counselor. One Counselor's better than zero. Where am I headed? He could be in the Executor's office. It's a fairly defensible position. I'm on it. Just a sec. There. Now we can talk by Omnitool. Go. Thane, did you hear all that? Yes. I'm nearing the building, but running is difficult. I'll try to get to you. Get me like that. Bonjatic. Dropping in. Troops in the lobby. They were dug in. I can see more through the cameras. They're all over the station. Injury wounds in the back of the head. It looks like a surprise, not an execution. We've got hardcore traders here. Same as Mars. Cerberus likes their sleeper agents. Let me bypass the door, get ready. Definitely gonna need the stabilizer on this. Damn the kick though. It's not that bad from cover, but ooh. Recon hood. Oh, M19. 
86 Revenant. There's a Remnant pickup. Cerberus. Didn't even drag him out into the hall. We got the showers and shitters. This room or the next that we get our infamous one of my favorite guns in this damn series M358 Talon. Got a weapon bench. You know what? Since the weapon bench is here. That done real quick. Well, oh, that thirty percent makes a big difference with aiming down sights. Look, a more controllable. But of course, all the guns are. Well, one and two. Security helmet, pistol high caliber. I think this is the room back here. We need to get an entryway. I tell him. I think we gotta hack one of these computers that opens the door. closer pick that up real quick on it. What's new up here? Oh yeah, the remnant. <laughs> when you need a pistol and a shotgun, I ain't got you covered. Shots fired. We've got to be close now. Yeah, there's a stairwell further on. The executor's office is right above it. Let's hope we're not too late. Piercing ones on this. Oh, 
Oh, hello. <coughs> Sniper rifle piercing mod. I remember something downstairs over here. Hoping Maybe an armor piece will show up out here somewhere. Oh, the counselor. <laughs> They're invisible downstairs, I think. Bailey, looks like they got the executor and two Solarian bodyguards. Damn, alright, keep searching. If you don't see the counselor's body, don't count him out yet. Unharmed. Get him somewhere safe. Kai Lang. Let's go. Don't even think about it. Shepard is going to kill us all. That remains to be seen. And what do you think? You're staging a coup. He's got the other counselors now to hand over to Cerberus. Three on one, pal. It's over. No. No, it's fun. Get him, thing, get him! Aim for the knees. <laughs> Damn. How bad is it? I have time. Catch him. Shepard, what's going on up there? Thane needs medical help fast, and I need to take care of an assassin. He must be going after the rest of the council. Get the word out. Udina's trying to seize power. I've got to get to the counselors. They're being taken to a shuttle pad on the Presidium. Start driving. I'll try to raise them on the comm. Stay alive for now, Thane. I've got a fix on the council's position. I'm sending it to your car. Good work, Bailey. We're almost there. <laughs> oh, okay, Lang.
feel like I skipped something. So we're going out. Careful with the catwalks. Another, another way of saying good or rat. What's this called? I'm at Shellmark Oh. Yeah, an elevator. They're trying to get to the shuttle dock. Someone's following them. Someone with a sword. I need the heels. I need the heels. I swear there should be like an item pick around here. I, I kind of feel it. I didn't tuck away in that corner. Well, I guess there's just a running gun right here. Alright, let's see. Three Phantoms and Kai Lang. Jump in another one. Here we go. Shepard, bad news. Is there any other kind? That hitman jumped to another elevator and he's overridden my controls. He's on his way up. I can't stop him. I'll handle it. Here they come. 
see them. Jump. What was that? Gunman, get down. <laughs> They got to the shuttle. Cerberus hit the shuttle. Everybody back to the elevator. Shepard? Shepard's blocking our escape. She's with Cerberus. Everybody, hang on. Shepard, what's happening? You know me better than this, Ash. I knew the old Shepard before Cerberus. Right now, I'm not sure who I'm dealing with. We don't have time to negotiate. You've been fooled, all of you. Odin is behind this attack. The Salarian Counselor confirmed it. Please, you have no proof. You never do. There are Cerberus soldiers in the elevator shaft behind us. If you open that door, they'll kill you all. We've mistrusted Shepard before, and it did not help us. They better we listen now. This. We're dead if we stay out here. I'm overriding the lock. Dina, step back from the console. To hell with this. Gun! Take him out, Ashley. Take him out. Sick. Bailey. Made it as fast as we could, Shepard. Looks like you uh, took care of things. Something's not right. You said Cerberus was targeting us. Where did their soldiers go? Cerberus was right here, but they beat feet into the keeper tunnels when they figured out we were coming. Sorry, counselor. I'll say it plain. Shepard just saved the lot of you. Again. And you have saved my life twice now, Shepard. I owe you both a personal debt, and one on behalf of Palavan. You don't owe me anything, Counselor. In times like this, we all stand together. Commander, do you have any idea why the elusive man would do this? No, I don't. But I plan to find out. All right, people. Principals are evacuated. We got a tunnel and a million more places to secure. Move it. I hope that's the kick in the ass that everybody needed. Yes? Things didn't go as planned. The Council's still in control of the Citadel and Udina's dead. Udina was expendable. Now what? There are other plans in motion. I'll fill you in when you return. I'm surprised you let Shepard get the better of you, Lang. It won't happen again. Mm. We'll see. <coughs> Damn Kaiway. Hey, I went to Pitagold Standoff. We looked over every centimeter of those tunnels, Shepard. Your Cerberus pal is made out of smoke and mirror. He likes to fight. He'll show up again. Pardon me if I'm not reassured by that. We can't even get an ID on him. He released a VI into the Citadel system that erased footage of him wherever he went. I guess he didn't trust that Adina's plan would come together. That reminds me, we got your friend Thane into work to Memorial. He's in for surgery. Apparently, uh, there's complications. Do you think he'll make it? I caught that they didn't have much drug blood on the Citadel. I notified his next of kin, his son, Koliat. He was the right blood type, but I don't know if he made it in time. 
We're pretty sure the route to the hospital is safe from Cerberus if you want to see him. Uh, I'd go now. I'll get on it. Oh, and you can tell him the Salarian counselor says he's a hero. Just to, uh, I don't know, make things easier for him. Another friendly gang will say goodbye too. Pick up the Black Widow. Say that for a second. Let's go to Huerta. Go okay, and give Kayleen a freaking on blade to the ass. I was told you might be able to help me. Of course. You're a Neota spouse, correct? Yes. How did you know that? We keep identity information on all permanent Citadel residents engaged in formal relationships with Asari. That way, should anyone require diplomatic aid, we can ensure prompt assistance. That's wonderful. Then you can help me send my daughter back to my wife's family? I, I'm afraid, however, that might be a bit difficult. Divert to... Crap, do we have any AI-enabled fragments of Sovereign? Any Reaper code I can analyze? No? Well, then they'll keep outmaneuvering our fleet, and a sorry world will keep burning. A joint Turian Krogan force has landed on a road in an attempt to retake Aurora's homeworld from Reaper forces. Uh, is the Volus we have to talk to? I think I recovered the obelisk you mentioned from the Shrike Abyssal. It's waiting in bay D24. Really? Thank you, Earth Clan. Were your people involved in a secret construction project of some sort? I am certain this obelisk would help. Now we didn't I'm not sure if I did or not, but didn't come back to sell that guy his son. Or, Like the, the dog tag for that dude, so he can mourn for his son. Spectre status recognized. Please select one moment, please. Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. Big things in the back. No, I'm seeing it here too. We're low on metagel and synthetic blood, and we don't have enough volunteers. If we could get the rings of a loon from the Salian Nebula, we could declare a cultural crisis. People would have to listen. No, they're not just symbolic. The Asari revere a loon. She wore these rings after learning medicine from a Thame herself. She was like a Jalatress for your people. If we displayed her rings, we'd get more Asari support in the hospitals. We're at this little farm. We killed a few enemy scouts, and it's, it's quiet. The shuttle gets called away for support, so I'm there for the night. The humans give me dinner, show me around. One of them, this freckled farm girl, maybe 15. She wants to hear all about what it's like to be a commando. You were probably the most exciting thing ever to land at her farm. Yeah. Well, she's saying she wants to be a pilot, and I say that life on a ship is grimy. And she asks if I'd like to use their shower. Going by my records, you've been on active duty for more than three weeks. Probably no real chance to get clean in all that time. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Welcome to Serta.
I think this is where we gotta pick up the side mission to get an antidote for our poison Turian as well. From what's it in? Not this one. There's got to be something. I don't know what Cerberus was packing, but we're going to lose this patient. Without a new treatment plan, we're stuck, and I can't think of anything beyond what we've already tried. I know, but I can't think of anything else. Can you? I think that was for a burn victim, I think. I understand Palavin is very busy, but this is one of your own generals. He was stabbed with a poison blade by a Cerberus soldier during the attack on the Citadel. We can't identify the toxin. We're barely keeping him alive right now. It's some form of neurotoxin. If you could look at our charts... Of course, I understand. Even a general is just one man. Good luck. Who are we to choose who lives or dies? That's not what we do. We help our patients, all of them. That's a nice sentiment, but it won't help when we run out of supplies. I've seen this happen in combat before. And we will run out of supplies. Have you seen the projections the administration center made? I have. The situation is going to get worse. What's your point? We can't deny the facts. If we prioritize them, some of our patients are in a much better position to survive. If we take care of them first and ration our supplies, we can save some now and enable ourselves to save more later. We cannot do that. We swore an oath to help the sick regardless of their economic situations or their places in society. Who are we to choose who lives or dies? That's not what we do. It's not we echo. help our patients, all of them. That's a nice sentiment, but it won't help when we run out of supplies. I it's not economical or and we will the position in, in society. Are. It's, it's desperate need of doing a I triage have. system. The situation is going to get worse. What's your point? We can't deny the facts. If we... Everyone makes sacrifices in wartime. You'll make yours sooner or later. I'm sure I will. But I'll do it without betraying my oath or my patience. It's not that simple. If we aren't careful about this now, we'll end up losing everyone. Then we'll find a way. Look, we have more. Can I help you? I'm looking for a drell named Thane Krios. Well, we have a drell, but not under that name. He was injured, stab wound. He's a regular patient here. It's all right, it's all right. I see. The doctors were able to repair a lot of the trauma. However, Mr. Hmm. Krios, he is in the final stages of Keppel syndrome. At its worst, Keppel syndrome interferes with his blood's ability to carry oxygen, and he lost a lot. Now they've given him transfusions, but frankly, there was a very limited supply of Drell blood on the Citadel. I'll get more. Give me his blood type. That's not going to work. Only one other Drell on the station is a match, and that Drell is in with him now. We did all we could to help him through surgery. But his body can't replace lost blood with new cells. Too much shock. His son, Koliat, he's in there saying his goodbyes. You might want to say yours. Damn. Yeah. Commander Shepard, my father mentioned you were no longer incarcerated. I don't know if you remember me. I'm Koliat Krios. I came to donate blood and, well, he asked me to take off his oxygen mask so he could be comfortable. I don't think it will be very long. Your father helped me save a lot of lives. I'd like to be here. Of course. Commander, <clears throat> I'm afraid I won't be joining you again. You've done more than enough, Thane. That assassin should be embarrassed. A terminally ill Drell managed to stop him from reaching his target. I'll pass the word along. There is something I must do before it gets worse. I must... <coughs> Alahira, mistress of inscrutable depths. I ask forgiveness. Kalihira, whose waves wear down stone and sand. Kalihira, wash the sins from this one. 
and set him on the distant shore of the infinite spirit. This one to where the traveler never tires, the lover never leaves, the hungry never starve. Guide this one, Kalahira, and she will be a companion to you as she was to me. say she the prayer was not for him commander he has already asked forgiveness for the lives he has taken his wish was for you Sucks to see things pass. Well, let's start a proscenium comments. Trying to find that, uh, was it a thermal company we gotta get for the Normandy? And I think we gotta hit the nightclub, give them that schematic for that power source. Then we gotta talk to Barla Warren, because I think we gotta find some mercenaries. Or we did find them. Oh, he's gone. There is E Gel Thermal Company. We're conduit. Thank you. Come again. Let's see. Courtyard seasick officer, seasick outpost offers roles. I think we gotta return something to him. Unibitarian <laughs> terrorists. Inspector Terminal update. Oh, I gotta check that out. I know the Hades next is off limits. I'm not an idiot. Damn it, the Alliance needs that thing right now. The obelisk of Karza was supposed to contain Prothean language translations, like the Rosetta Stone for Protheans. Think of how much it could have helped us understand. It could be useful. Do all my security bids bring me a warrant? Stonewalling me? Those bids should be vital to the war effort. I doubt the Reapers have agents doing business in my cafe. We're trying to protect us. Tell them the jobs next time somebody is See those scorch marks? 
Cerberus killed one of my servers right there. Where were you? Hey, I lost friends too. If you care about finding the Cerberus informants who made it happen, you'll give me the bid. We're at war. If you care about the safety of the Citadel, you'll help CSEC however you can. Thank you for that. I have some high-profile customers. Word gets out that I'm ratting them out to CSEC. You think I care about insider trading or electronic smuggling right now? I'm after the bastards who attacked the Citadel. Nobody ever. You got my word. All right. Just... I hope it helps. Is there another side mission around here? Welcome to Casa Fabrication Weaponry. For the best in the business, come to Casa. All goods have been marked down with our special wartime discount. Damn, it's nearly gonna be Both two o'clock and the dog's chilling by the pool. Ereba. No, no, I understand. Sometimes I'm surprised myself. Anyway, would you like to make a purchase? You're about yes, to get some bad yes, news. Excuse me. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. You need to hear this. Oh, you rose of Ilium. If these humble words reach you, then I have joined my ancestors. No. No, no, no. My dream was to be by your side. A weed beside your beauty, twining together in the warm Tachanka sun. Oh, Char. But if my last days must be with Grant, instead of kindness, still I will remember the perfume of your scent and the soft touch of your petals. <sighs> Let my broken bones build a wall around your garden. So you and the flower we planted together can grow safe and strong. Thank you. Uh, I should... I need to go. Rules be damned. People have a right to defend themselves. Start selling weapons to everyone in the Citadel. CSEC will shut this whole place down. CSEC couldn't protect us when Cerberus attacked. I'll take him to court. You think a court is going to want more people running with guns right now? Then I'll go to the wards and sell from the back room at Purgatory. People are already scared. If you violate weapons laws, they'll just be scared and trigger happy. We're at war. If the Citadel gets attacked again, everybody needs to fight. The commander's right. It's not like those Reaper things care about hurting some. But selling weapons to just anyone makes it easier for groups like Cerberus to get a hold of them. Cerberus attacked the Citadel with military-grade weapons and powered armor. I doubt they need one of my pistols. Okay, you're right. Just... just be careful. I meant to do the warrior one. Welcome to Agor Munitions. <laughs> Thank you for shopping Get at the Agor new Munitions. One there. Welcome to Supergene Armory. Great equipment at reasonable prices. That's Cipertine. We appreciate your visit. There's the armor. Hello, Shepard. Nice to see you. I missed this place. It's good to be off ship for a while. Hello again. Hello, Shepard.
Commander Shepard, do you have a minute? Can I help you? Jordan Knowles, E-Crimes. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. I've got a saboteur hacking key systems, power, communications. It's bad. If you've got time to help, check out this console. Got it. Looks like a collection of access codes. They're Batarian diplomatic codes, from back when they had an embassy on the Citadel. If you can use your Spectre access to find them, I can shut them down. I can access restricted intel at the Spectre office in the embassy. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Well, that's two chips. We have to keep enforcing the law. Same as always. Without that, everything goes to hell. Look at Powell's in, my friend. We're in hell. We should be looking for terrorists. The rest can take care of itself. So the bar fights, the drunken disorderlies down by that purgatory place? How does cracking down on that crack help us win the war? People need to blow off steam right now. And how does letting the misdemeanors go help the war? Less time spent on the light stuff means the Citadel has more money for defense. Everyone on the Citadel knows we're at war now. You have to show them that CSEC is still in control. They need that security. The commander's right. We need people coming into work every day. We need things to keep running. Otherwise, today's bar fight could be tomorrow's street riot. Yeah, maybe you're right. It just feels so damn petty right now. Still a little seasick in the courtyard, maybe. I just don't understand why you're suddenly so conflicted. Look, the asshole's in custody now. Killing him won't bring anyone back. What's going on here? I'm in position at CSEC. Draw them away, and I'll move in and make the kill. Don't answer that. This guy. Commander Shepard. Guess I know what happened to my backup. Excuse me? Come on. I'm in CSEC in civilian gear with a weapon. I know when I'm made. Just let me explain. Captain Aaron Summers, Alliance Marines, retired. Captain Summers? There's a prisoner here. CSEC officer who helped Cerberus. CSEC caught him when you stopped the coup. Now he's offering them intel on Cerberus to get a better deal. Why are you telling me this? Because he doesn't deserve a better deal. He killed people during the coup, good people. And he's former Alliance, like us. The way I figure it, he's our problem to fix. If you gun that man down, you're dishonoring the uniform just as much as he did. Like hell I am. I don't like plea bargains any more than you do. But the intel we get will save lives. Says who? Our superiors. The people we swore to serve and trust. Captain Summers. Yes, Commander. Sorry, Commander. I'll shut it down. Thanks. <laughs> Cerberus trap? Bomb or turret? Mm -hmm. These are control schematics for Cerberus turrets. Will these help? Damn right they will. I'll have E-Crimes dig into them. Might even help us find the little presence Cerberus left for us. Thanks a lot. This is gonna save lives. Alright. But now where the schematics go. Yeah, the guys in Zakara did too. Disarmed there safely. No casualties. Nice work. Hey, you're going on the dance floor.
concussion's almost gone. Good. When I heard you were injured. It was stupid. I should have ducked when that wall came down. Something good has come out of all this, though. Got new equipment. Sent me a set of Vortex armor. Man, summoning supplies sure messed that one up. Oh, I've heard those are pretty good. It's great. I'd only be safer inside a tank. That's why Vortex gear costs more than I make in a year. This sucks. What have you got there? Duty roster for the students. It's what I do for fun now. They've got us spread out across Alliance units. Reinforcing barriers, modding ammo, that kind of thing. How are they holding up? They are fine. They're not the ones reading duty rosters while on shore leave. Complain if you like, but I think military life suits you. Hey, running back to the Alliance was your lifelong dream, not mine. Come on, plenty of combat, free room and board, and people you can depend on. Yeah, yeah, maybe your little suicide squad taught me something about teamwork. Speaking of which, thanks. My guys are handling the support stuff well. Still see some action, but they're not on the front lines. They've saved a lot of lives. It'd be a hell of a lot more fun with you. You find bigger fights. But the little shits are useless without me. I gotta stick with them. Cause I'm dependable now, apparently. <laughs> I blame you for this, Shepard. Come on. What? The duty rosters can wait. Right now you're on shore leave. <laughs> Shepard! Everybody knows you can't dance. Be out there in a moment. <laughs> Looks like lunch is here. <clears throat> we'll save it here. Continue this later, so do what you guys do best. Hit me up with a comment down below, leave a like, don't forget to share the video. I really appreciate what you do. <coughs> Catching that replay back on my YouTube channel, you know what to do there. Hit that sub notification button for the daily content drop. Special thanks for you guys watching live on Twitch. Don't forget to hit that follow button there as well. Catch me live every day. And once again, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.
and have an amazing day.